Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to use the text to image hugging face model. So this is our demo application. This is basically a streamlit application in which we have an input box. The user types in the prompt here which we want to generate the image from. So for instance, Llama playing football and clicks on submit button. So it shows us the generating image in progress and the end result should be is the Llama in a football pitch with a football. Let's try another prompt. So let's say we type in man running in desert and click on the submit button. So we can see here that there is a desert and a man is running. We go to the Hugging Face website and create an account. We go to the settings section and click on this access tokens. In case you don't have any access token, you need to create one by clicking new token and set the role to write. We go to the model section and search for text to image and we see all the models which are related to this prompt. On the left hand side, you click on this multimodal and select on text to image. It also gives you all the models related to text to image. So in our case, we will be choosing the Runway Stable Diffusion V15. So next, we click on the Runway ML Stable Diffusion and most importantly, we have access to the Inference API. In this section, we can simply type in our prompt here and let's say click on Compute. This Inference API takes in this prompt and it's loading the image and here we see the end result. This is the llama in a football pitch. Now, how can we integrate this API in our code? So for that, we click on this deploy button and click on the inference API. It shows us how to use this API. We create a folder called text to image. We create a file main.py and also install the packages. One last thing is to create a .env file and inside this, we put the key as Hugging Face Hub API token. The token should be equal to the one which you created in your Hugging Face account. Inside our main.py, we import the Hugging Face API token using the .env package. Next, we create a function called text to image which takes in a prompt parameter of type string. The body of this function is basically drafted from the inference API code which we get from the Hugging Face inference API. We define the API URL which is the inference API. Next, we put in the headers which would authenticate us using the API token. We create a payload and finally we post that URL with the headers and the JSON payload. The response is received and the content parameter is extracted which comprises of the image bytes. Then we render that image using the IO bytes IO. And finally, we save that image with the timestamp as of today. And the format is .jpg and we save it in the directory. For testing this function, we simply call in the text to image function with a prompt. So in this case, we have put in the prompt as child playing with toy. And for running this file, we just click on Python 3 and the name of file, which is main. On the left hand side, we can see the output generated in the JPG file. And if we can see carefully, this is the prompt which we've mentioned about a child playing with toy. We bind the text to image function to a streamlit interface. We install the package streamlit using the command here. Inside our main.py, we import the streamlit package as st. We set the page title to text image generator. For running this file now, we click on the command streamlit run the file name which is main.py and this loads a local host URL on 8501. There is this text to image generator text. We create a streamlit form which has one text area and one submit button. And if we reload our URL, this is what we have as of now. We have a check condition if the query is not empty and the submit button is pressed, then we call in our text to image function with the prompt. Note that this prompt is specified in the text area query box. This function is wrapped in a spinner which says text in progress. The result from this function is saved in the img file variable and displayed on the application using st.image. And finally, when we reload our application, we will be now seeing the full thing in action. We put in our prompt, let's say, man in car and click on submit button. So it shows us the spinner until the function returns us the response. And once the response is received, we show the title your image and the image itself. 